Howdy, cowboy. Hi. Is this the Fred Mullins double H outfit? What about it? Uh, I'd like to see Mr. Mullins. Well, you can't, because he ain't here. What do you want of him? I was with a Circle S outfit down in Texas. Lost for a while. Got the urge to drift, and I heard you're the best outfit to hire out to. We're not putting on any hands. I heard you might be putting on some for the roundup. And you heard me, didn't you? Yeah, but you're not Mr. Mullins. Well, I'm Mr. Mullins' boss foreman, and one is all we need around here. All I'm looking for is a cowhand job. All right, cowboy. Keep looking. You're about the most sociable fellow I ever met. I'd say that's pretty good work, stranger. Yeah, and, and me thinking all the time there ain't no Santa Claus. Say, we gotta hand it to you, fella. Ain't that right, champ? Sure. Listen, if you was as heavy with your mitts as he is with that cap pistol, you should have the title wrapped right up in your pocket now. Did you say champ? Sure, that's me. That's me. Well, we ain't exactly the world, champ. But that's because that big bazo is afraid to get in the ring with us. Why, Spike here would knock his feather off. You mean that it's your Spike Sullivan? Why, sure. The lightweight champion of the Navy himself. I thought I recognized you from your picture in the Police Gazette. I'm sure glad to know you, champ. Maybe you think Nifty and me wasn't glad to see you when we did, huh? What's the moniker, kid? The what? The name, the name. Oh, well, they call me Brick Lawrence. Sir, sure, Mr. Loring, I'm glad to know you, me. Why, I am the great Nifty Harmon. Why, I do all the thinking for this guy. Hey, what's that? Ah, Nick's down that pipe down, pipe down. Now listen, Nifty. Tell him about the time in New Jersey when I took the pride of the fleet. Oh, sure. That was easy. Why, there's a third round and they held him down hold like on, that. Hold on a minute. Lauren, you think you can bring this fellow on into town with you? Sure, I'll follow you in. Not if I take a crack at that. Oh, Nick's on that. Nick's. We're going to leave plenty of cripples behind us after this tour without your pace in that fella. Come on, get in here. Come on. Glad to make you, Brick. Yeah, Laurie, we'll, we'll see you later. Come on, get in there. Uh, listen, listen, oh, every I'm time I tell you, I know get that it. I was going to be. Uh, Now we're getting a look at the camp, boys. Come on! Oh,
come on, folks. Oh, just a moment. I am Harmon. Nifty Harmon the Great. Oh, that's fine, oh, that's fine, boys. And I do all the, the managing. A fake Sullivan, the champ. Hey! Hey! Now listen, now listen. Uh, Mr. Harmon, Mr. Harmon. Tell them what I did to Spider Kelly. Oh, so, all right, all right, boys. Now, I all know that you enjoy a good prize fight, but this is one you missed. Why, the camp had him down in the third round. Of course, you could have knocked him out sooner, but the camp had to carry the fight. Oh, <laughs> now, all i got to say is, boys, that I can see that you're a live crowd. And I'm certainly glad to be here in such a glorious country. And you can bet your life that we know that we're mighty lucky to be here. Now, ain't that right, champ? We sure was lucky. Well, well, if it ain't just the man we want to see. I'm Nifty Harmon the Great. How are you, Sheriff? Meet the champ. How are you? Well, I can tell you fellas right now, there ain't going to be any prize fight. Yes, sir, and I come quick in here, not being any champ, too, Sheriff. Couple of road agents got after us, Joe. Fast shooting, young fella. Come along just in time. Got one of them. He's bringing them in now. Well, that ought to be enough fighting to hold you two for a time. There's a law in this state against prize fighting, and I aim to see it upheld. Why, Sheriff, you don't mean to think that we figure on putting on any prize fights, do you? I say not. Why, I wouldn't think of letting me, champ, murder one of your boys. No, sirree. All we figure on doing is putting on a little exhibition of the manly art of self-defense. Now, ain't that right, champ? Sure, me. I don't want to break no laws. Well, don't try it, then, because if you do, I'm giving you warning. It'll end up by you breaking big ones up into little ones. Sheriff, and the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Well, I mean the rock pile. Now, oh, come on, fellas, forget it. We're setting up the drinks. The drinks are on the camp. Come on, boys. Oh, the oh, 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 Mine's Fred Mullins. Ah. I own the double H outfit. Mr. Mullins, I'm glad to know you. Gradually, your check answer the camp. Can't answer to Mr. Mullins. Glad to meet you. Say, wasn't you kind of free with that talk about not wanting your fighter to murder one of our boys? What, you mean to say that he couldn't? I got money says he can't. Say, where is this guy that you think is so good? Why, he's Jack Malone, my foreman. Uh, that's that's my boy. Boy. Well, how much are you betting? Thousand? Thousand? Ah, you're only whispering. Just whispering. This is the time about the time about picking up doors down in the Atlantic. Now, Nick, on that. Nick, on that. I'm doing the thinking. I am doing the thinking. Now, how much money did you say you were betting with Mullins? Thousand. Why, you must be afraid your boy hasn't a chance with Mullins. I'll double it. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. And I guess the rest of the boys in my outfit can make a little noise. I got 200. I'll, I'll, I'll make it 400. I'll take that bet. I'll take anything up to $23. I'll take that bet. How much have I got coming, Mr. Mullins? Three months. Go down our boy. That's, that's a bet. That's, that's a bet. Take that bet. That's now. Come here. That guy. Here he is. Come on, we'll see. Meet Mr. Nifty Harmon, manager for the champ. Ah, Jock, I'm glad to know you. Glad to know you. Stick hands to the champ. Yeah. This is Jock. How are you? <laughs> so that's the champ. Hey, you must think you're too good for the champ of the Navy, huh? He must mean the Swiss Navy. <laughs> well, he's good. Well, I'll mix on that snake. Wait till you get him in the ring. When you get him in the ring. Listen, I'll take one second of the guy and I'll slaughter him. Now, Nick. Ah, oh, lay down, Sullivan. You used to be a good fighter, but you can't take it anymore. Why, when I get through with you, you'll look like a wet shirt hanging on a line. Let me out! Oh, I'm down! I'm down! Do you understand? I'm down! Get now let's get down to business. Who's going to hold these things, Mr. Mullins? Hank looks honest to you, don't he? Okay. Now let me see the color of your money. Let oh, me see. I got mine right uh, here. You got mine. Right, sing it up. Let me see you guys. Come on, if you want to get a bet in here. Sure, you How much you got down here? Bring it What'd you say this young fellow's name was? Rick Loring. Oh, Loring. Well, come on. Hop down off in there. There you are. We'll look after you. That was sure fast work, young fellow. Cosgrove is my name, and I'm mighty glad to shake your hand. Glad to know you, Sheriff. Anytime I can do anything to help you, Loring, you just let me know. You don't know where a cowhand could get a job around here, do you? Don't figure you ought to have much trouble finding an outfit. Oh, Miss Jean. Come over here a minute, please. Yes, sir. Uh, I want you to meet Brick Loring. Miss Mullen and her uncle run the Double H. 
How do you do? I'm glad to know you, miss. See, he's sort of wearing my boots today. He rounded up this road agent when he was trying to stick up the stage. He says his regular job is cow punching, and he's looking for an outfit to hook up with. I figure he'd be a mighty good hand to have. Well, I'll see you later, Loin. Come on, you. I'll speak to my uncle about you. Thanks just the same, miss, but I've already seen your foreman. And he says he's not putting on any new hands. Oh. Hey, don't worry about me licking him. Why, he's just right for the right fella to come along and knock him loose from his belt. All I'm hoping is that you're the right fella. I'm betting on you, Jock. May I ask how you happen to be in this country? I never was much for staying in one place very long. Always figured it was a good idea for a fellow to keep moving. Seeing different things and meeting new people. And you don't expect to stay here very long. Well, from what I've seen here, I think I'm going to like it. <laughs> but you haven't seen anything. Oh, yes, I have. Uncle Fred! This is Rick Loring. He's the young man that brought that bandit in. Nice work, boy. Yeah. Quite a hero. When do you find time to punch cows? Oh, you know our foreman? About as well as I want to. He asked us about joining on. And I suppose after I told you I didn't have a job for you, you're trying to talk yourself into one with Miss Mullins. Trying to make yourself out mighty big, ain't you? That's not so. I don't think I'd want a job with your outfit after meeting you. Because I don't like you. Even a little bit. Well, I ain't asking for your opinion. Well, I'm giving it to you. Well, I don't want it. If you're smart, you'll keep your gabby mouth shut. Well, if I was you, I wouldn't do so much talking either. Well, you ain't me. Well, I've got that much to be glad of. Why, you... No, they'll, they'll let it drop. I'll drop him if... Don't let it drop again! You think you're that fast for your draw? Well, I don't need a gun. I'm sorry about this, Miss Mullen. You're sorry? How about us? There went my saddle. Yes, my whole outfit. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just a minute, boys. I got an idea. Lauren? That job you're asking Malone about, it's yours. Yes, sir. You're working for the double H. Oh, let me have you, but don't you know when you've got enough? That was just a lucky punch. Yeah, lucky? <laughs> lucky for us that he handed it to you instead of the champ. If you were to land that blow on the champ, he'd wake up here in the birdie. Uh, you ain't going to let him fight, Sullivan. Me? You don't think we're going to take another chance on Jock, do you? You're the only chance we got. Not me. Fight the champ? <laughs> you must be crazy. Why, we bet our shirts against Sullivan. You're not going to turn your friends down, are you? But I'm no fighter. Well, then I hope I never see one. Cow punching's my business. Son, we ain't going to let you waste that punch on no cow. But I don't want to fight. I don't like to fight, especially a small fellow like the champ. Of course you don't. You're yellow. I'm what? We know you're not. But it might look to some folks, Rick, like you were afraid of Sullivan. But Mr. Mullen, now, where to you, Brick? Come on, boys. I'm going to set them up. Come on, Brick. You bet. Come on, Brick. I don't understand you, Miss Dean. Well, you can't expect me to feel sorry for you. You're always carrying a chip on your shoulder. So glad somebody made such a good job of knocking it off. Listen, he couldn't do that to me again in a hundred years. Sullivan will kill him. Oh, I'm so glad it isn't going to happen to you, Jock. <laughs> Where did I see you over the answer house, Spike? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hi, hello, cowboy. <laughs> hey, fella. Wait a minute. I want to talk to you. So you figure that you can beat the champ, huh? Say, you know as well as I do Sullivan's washed up. The first good guy he runs into will knock him out. You think you're the guy to do it, do you? Yeah. Why don't you make me a bet, then? I lost my dough in a barrel game last week. 
Well, a good smart fellow like you could get his dough back if he bet on the champ. And uh, the champ would win. I told you I didn't have any dough to bet on myself. Well, you wouldn't expect me to put up the dough for you to do that with, would you? How much dough did you expect to loan me? Tell me what I'll do. Suppose I put up about uh, 400. Uh, well, we'll make it 750 for you on the chance. If he wins, you collect. Of course, if he didn't win, why? Listen, Harmon. You put up that money for me, and I'll guarantee the champ will win. Well, come on, come on. That'll be enough of that. Let's get down the road and do a little work. Come on. Is this my horse? Yeah. Hey. Sure you don't want a buggy to go with that horse? It's easier riding for a fellow who isn't used to riding in the saddle. Hey, listen here, young fella. I was brought up on a merry-go-round with sweet music on the side. Music, huh? Yes, music. All right, champ, let's get That's going. Okay. Something tells me he's going to take a heap more walking when he gets off that merry-go-round. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough, Pete. Look at that. If it's good enough for Spike Sullivan, it sure ain't gonna do you no harm. Well, what are we training for? A fight or a foot race? You think you was gonna fight on horseback? Brick, you're the most honorary cuss I ever know. How do you ever expect to be a fighter if you won't train? I don't want to be a fighter. You fellas got me into this, and I'll see it through for you. I punched your bags and skipped your ropes, and you'll think I was training to be a, a toe dancer. But when it comes to wearing out shoe leather to save a saddle, well, I quit. Oh, all right, turn you. Who'd have thought that darn horse was so frisky? I'll pay you for the shoe leather! Come on, you camel. Hey! You're just the fella I want to see. Well, you sure couldn't have picked a better time. And if you're taking that horse for a walk, how about letting me climb on? <laughs> sure, you can have the plug as far as I'm concerned. I'm still with him. Hey. 
I thought you were out for exercise. This isn't my idea. Oh, I suppose you're out there, huh? Wait a minute. How's he getting along, Pete? Oh, he's doing all right. But did you see that kid's face when that horse showed him his heels? <laughs> yes, yes, what the ordinary young cut needed. Uncle Fred, do you think he has a chance with that fighter? Chance, Miss Jean? Why, that boy's left his dynamite. <laughs> to say nothing of his right. <laughs> hey, Pete. Uh, I'm telling you, you were right about it. He can hit like a trip him. How much did you say you bet on that fight, boss? Why? Because you can kiss your money goodbye in the third round. What are you talking about, Doc? Would you really like to know, Miss Jean? by yourself the rest of the way. Well, it looks so good if they see me with you. Much obliged to you. You're a big help to me. Well, aren't we going to be a big help to each other? Oh, you mean that bet? Yeah. I've been thinking it over, Nifty. Mm -hmm. And just so you won't lose, you can put your money on me instead of the chance. What? You mean that? I mean just what I said. Why, you big sap, you're licked already. Well, if I do lose, it won't be your way. You never heard him say he'd accept the money. He wouldn't do that. That darn tootin' he wouldn't. Well, I wouldn't wait until he lost my money before I'd admit he was a crook. You can't say that about him. All right. You'll be saying it when he left Sullivan with him. I heard you've added this to your training. Pete's going to make a regular prize fighter out of me if he has to kill me to do it. I wish you weren't going through with it, Brick. I haven't much choice. Oh, yes, you have. Let Jock fight him. And have the boys think I'm yellow? I'd rather have them think anything. What they might think if you should lose. What do you mean? Jock said he overheard what that man Nifty said to you about betting money for you on the champ. Oh, Jock said that, huh? You don't think I was serious, do you? No, of course not. But if you should lose. Don't worry. If that's what they think of me, I'm not going to lose. Well, it won't be my funeral when they lay it down to Sullivan. If you boys want to collect those bets of yours, let me fight him. They don't sound like bricks. We haven't heard his side of it. All right. If you fellas want to believe what he tells you, but don't say afterwards, I didn't tell you so. Your hearing's pretty good, isn't it, Jock? Yeah, it is. Well, you listen to this. It doesn't matter much to me what you think. But you men can't believe what he wants you to. Sure, I was out there with Nifty Harmon. He came along after you ran away with my horse, Pete. <laughs> and I stalled him about his proposition, so he'd give me a ride back at the ranch. I didn't tell him till after we got here that he could do his betting on me. Well, I believe you, kid. Well, that's easier for you to say than it is for me to believe. I wouldn't trust you against Sullivan. You're spoiling for a fight, aren't you, Jock? Well, you've got one coming, see? But it's not going to be with Spike Sullivan because I'm fighting. And I'll whip the first man that says I'm not. All right, kid, all right. We know you're kind of handy with your fists when you want to be. But we're pretty handy with... 
with this. And that's why you better be sure you don't lose. Is that the way you feel about it, Mr. Mullen? That's the way we feel about it, kid. Why don't you get yourself married? Well, I think... Oh. I gotta do something to keep busy, Pete. Hey, you're as nervous as a fool prima don, ain't you? Cut it out. Come on with me while I get some chow. And a cup of coffee will be good for your nerves, too. I've got a surprise for you. Well, what is it? Well, where did you get them things, Miss Jean? I made them. You made them, Jean? Yes, Uncle. I saw the picture in the police gazette. Thanks. This is just what I need. Good luck, Rick. You'll excuse us, won't you, Miss Jean, but can't let the next champ catch cold, you know. Here you are, Rick, there. You can come with us if you want to, but I gotta keep him moving, you know. Still gonna let him fight, huh? I'm going to make him fight. Everything ready in the barn? The boys are putting the ropes up now. Plenty of time. Now, Blackie, I want to talk to Hank. Hey, Joe. Hank, you're a friend of mine, ain't you? You bet your life. Where is this fight going to be? Didn't know there was going to be a fight since you called it off, Joe. Oh, I'm only a servant of the law. I knew I wouldn't tell you, Joe. Oh, Hank, you got me wrong. I want you to bet this for me on the fight. Well, you know, it looks pretty good to me, too. Sure does. Now, unofficially, man to man, where's it going to be? You're a pretty good fellow after all, ain't you, huh? Sure, I say, where are they going to hold it? <laughs> 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 Hey, you better put me and sit down. If you don't, I'll knock you down. Oh, yeah, you'll find out who the best fighter is. Well, 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 well,
How do you feel? Uh, how do you feel? How much told? That's the boy, that's the boy. But don't get the idea that the cowboys are the setup. They tell me he's dynamite. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, just watch me blow him up. That's what I'm gonna do. What? Well, did you have the guy in the ring yet? Not uh, yet. No, well, let him wait. Put the champ around here anyway. Go on, beat it. Tell me when he's in there. Watch his step down. Kick that left right up into his face, you understand? Don't worry. When I hit him, they stay hit. What did I tell you last night, Jean? I don't care. Now listen, Jean. I'm going oh, to... well, come on, come on, hurry up.
Oh, he's sure bad medicine for a stomach ache. Oh, it's only a question. Don't you hear what he said about feeling bad? Alibying already. Well, that's all right.
a good wish for this. Now, how about collecting those bets? Oh, huh? I know you won't. We think no, it's a frame-up. It's a frame-up, oh, that's what it is. What about that gun, Fred? What are you trying to do? I aim to cancel all debt. That wasn't a fight, it was a frame-up. Sure, it was. Sure, it was. You're a liar, you put your stupid... I said, they just saw it because they bet on the wrong side. You he ain't looking for no alibi. But you wouldn't believe it anyhow. I told you he had cramps when he got it. I had cramps for 750 bucks. Look out, what you say about me, sir? How about it, Doc? Well, we'll take him in to the harness room. I'll examine them there. Oh, you're too soft, Joe. We know what we're doing. Well, it's up to the Doc now. If he finds Loring as I think he is, all bets are going to be paid. Gambling debts are legal in this state, but prize fighting ain't. Lay him there, Pete. Oh. Does that hurt you? No. Fight. You and Loring both are under arrest. Yeah, I want to. Thanks. How about those stakes you're holding? Oh, Where yeah. are they? Got most of them locked in the safe uptown. Except the bet that Missy Harmon covered. Got them here with me, Sheriff. Well, I'll take those. Just a moment, please. Oh, that hurts there, Doc. Oh, come up, excuse me. Come on. Come on. <coughs> I can't stand that. You, Spike, go get your clothes on. Huh? All right. Sheriff, wait a minute. I thought so. It's pretty bad, eh, Doc? Well, I guess I was just too tough for you. Oh, is that so? The kid ain't well or you wouldn't last it two rounds. Get in your clothes. Oh, all right, all right. What are you, the nerve of these guys thinking I had to turn crooked to beat an amateur like him? Yeah? You and that manager didn't feel that way about it. But he offered me 750 to lay down on you. Why, you just bug out. Ah, that ain't on the level. That ain't on the level. I'll see you when you get your clothes changed. Wait a minute. That's why I turned you down, isn't it, Nifty? Because it wasn't on the level. Oh, I was just kidding you. I was just kidding you. Hey, what no, do you mean you were kidding? Well, listen, what do you mean well, you were kidding? Well, let me tell you, it was like this. I Go on, tell me. I like what I'm trying to tell you. Go on, tell me. me. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, you stood it then, huh? You thought you had to turn crooked to make me win, did you? Why, you big bum? Oh, what the... There. Stop it. Let me take one look, crack it, that photo, and I'll go to jail for life. Stop it. How about him, Doc? Why, the lawyer's badly hurt. He was in faking. That's enough for me. I never had any doubt about you, Roaring. It's not your fault. Someone's a better man than you. Well, then how about paying those bets? They're legal, ain't they? Sure. Uh, thanks. How about my split? Oh, all right, all right. But you'll be sorry about this when it's all over, champ. But I ain't the guy that holds a grudge. No, sir, not me. There you are. You'd better get out of here before I lose my temper. Don't go that way. That mob's ugly. You're going to go out through the window. And when you get going, keep going. Yeah, fire, fire. This fight was on the square. And all bets stand. We won't stand for this, Joe. Oh, the fight was oh, running. Oh. Wait a minute, wait. You weren't going to leave without talking to me first, were you? Well, what have I got to talk to you about? Well, just give me the money you promised me if the champ won. I want it for him. Oh, well, now listen, listen here, Jock. We won't be for the Doc, those punches in the stomach couldn't make me feel like this. I felt sort of weak and, and had cramps before I got in the ring. Well, I wasn't in no fight and my stomach is burning up. Well, what did you eat before the fight? Just coffee. Coffee? Why, coffee never gives a man cramps, unless... Uh... I'll pick something up that I think will relieve you both. Yeah, it was funny, kid. You was going great. Then the second time round, you seemed to lose all your steam. One punch in a bread basket, champ, and I just welded. Yeah, I noticed when I sucked that left, like, I knew I had you. I knew I had you, kid. So I want you to drink this. There, that's enough water. It's just gonna be stirred up. Now drink it. Yes, I can keep it. 
keep quiet. These men are my prisoners, and nobody's going to lay a hand on them. I don't like that rumpus out there, boys. You fellas get out of here before something happens. Me and the cook will take care of that coffee business. Come on, get out of here in a hurry now. Don't stall around. Now, uh, well, now listen, Chuck. I say, I don't fall for that. I want the dough. Oh, don't make me laugh. Give it to me. Sorry, get your hands off of me, you chump cowboy. Oh. He's got the roll. again if you got that mad. You couldn't stay three rounds with your pal Sullivan, but you could make a good job of it licking Jock. That's what you mean. Mean. Too, bad him. too bad he didn't bribe you too. That's a lie. Nobody bribed him. Listen, Hughes, me 
here to kid a square shooter. Uh, here's a six shooter. Says you're a couple of crooks. Get out of this country. We don't handle your kind with gloves. There's a tar and feather party waiting you two. Take them, boys. Come on. Come on, boy. Get him. Come on. What's the matter with you? Get him. Come on, Cap. Give us help. Get away with what you did back there in the barn. Somebody's going to pay for it. Hey, where you are, Chuck, or I'll drop you. Take that coffee. I'll drink it. Drink it! What's the matter, you afraid of getting cramps? What are you fellas driving at? I'm going to prove what I said in the first place. That the kid is a great fighter. Chuck poisoned that coffee. Now you know why he couldn't take them punches in the bread basket. You can lock him up for robbery, Sheriff. That's the role he took from the yap that was me manager before I fired him. Listen, you's is gonna like me with me because I'm gonna rock you to sleep every night. Stop it, stop it. Fred, you're right about one thing. There's no contest and all bets are off. Well, what about arrest in Brick and Sullivan? What's arrest him for? There's no contest. There couldn't have been any fight. Sheriff, of all the cops I ever met, Hughes is the first one I can take a liking to. Come on, you. Rick, I've been pretty much of a cuss, but I'd like to make it up to you if you let me. Forget it, Mr. Mullins. Fred to you, Brick. And we're all friends. That's great. Well, Spike, I'd like for you to meet Miss Mullins. How do you do? Pleased to know you, Miss Mullins. So you're the kid's girl. Well, what do you think of that? What do you think of that? Well, I hadn't thought about it. Stop your kidding. Stop your kidding. <laughs> Miss Mullins is my boss. So is me missus. But being a family man is great training for the fight game. I've had all I wanted the ring. Wait till you just put one on a finger. You will be in training for the rest of your life. What do you say, Uncle? All we got to do to keep the kid in good condition is for you to give him your okay. What do you say, Fred? Hey, hey, wait for me. Ha, 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 